You're watching Cavillion Girls Rule on demand. Saddle up as the studios of Big Idea take you on a rootin' tootin' Bible adventure. Mo and the Big Exit. Hi, ho, sliver! Away! A cucumber called by God to lead his people to freedom. I think I'll name you Mo. It's Indian for looking for gold and finding a baby. Singing hi ya yippee ki -yo. She picked him up and named him Mo. Mo is on a mission from God. Let my people go. Let you go? God said so. But he best watch out for the mayor of Dodgeball City. Round up the posse. I got a score to settle. It's the epic story of Moses, like you've never heard it. When the stars shine bright in the Rocky Mountain night, you know it must be love. The burning bush? It's in there. The staff that turns into a snake? We've got that too. The plagues on Egypt? We've got swarms and storms, prairie dogs and pimples, and rivers running red. What is it? It's tomato juice. <laughs> Get ready for a big story with a great lesson on following directions. I do the talking, you do the thing with the stick, and God does the rest. That was the plan, remember? With a hilarious new silly song from the boys in the sink. On the banks of the Nile, born and hey! in the grip of the pharaoh in his teenage hey! Plus more DVD bonus features than you can shake a stick at. Veggie Tales heads west in the hilarious all-new feature, Mo and the Big Exit. Own it on DVD today. Veggie Tales Sunday morning values, Saturday morning fun. Exactly. Now on Cavillion Girls Rule on demand. Well done, 
done, Chloe. The dragon looks excellent now. Oh, of course it looks excellent. It's a dragon, like me. <laughs> <laughs> We thank you all for your help. You really made our dragon dance. Yay! Dragon dance! <laughs> it was a wonderful parade. The drums and lanterns and a silk dragon. There are many wonderful things to see in China. I'm to here. Come on. One, two, three. Four. Four. Very good. I play music with five bells. Listen. Whee! Oh, my. And that little dragon certainly likes to stir things up. Oh, yes, he does. Especially me. <laughs> Come on. There is so much more to see. Walk this way. Trees are very beautiful. I never noticed what they look like. I just like the way they taste. Ow. Mm. Tiger! That is who? He is the best Chu Ling player in the forest. Some people call Chu Ling a Chinese yo yo. Yo yo! Yo yo! Careful, Mac. Tigers are dangerous. Worries, lovely carrot. All the tigers are very nice in my world. Would you like to see a trick? Watch how many times I make the chewling go around my leg. One, two, six, four, five. It's one, two, three, four, five, Mac. Oopsie. Here's my very favorite trick. It's called whip. And catch! Wow! Gotcha! Whee! <laughs> Whee! Whee! Stop, little dragon! That is not the way you play with a chuli! I wish I didn't have to chase her away like that. But I've tried to teach her the right way to use a chuli, and she never listens! We've tried to teach her to play ping pong too, and she won't listen to us either. Ah, yes. You two are very good ping pong too players. You must show your new friends this game. Great idea, Who? Come on, everyone. One, two, three, four, five balls. Mac just counted to five with no mistakes. I knew you could do it, Mac. What is it for five? What is it for five? Come, friends. Wu and I will show you how to play ping pong Ju. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> hey, that's our ball. <laughs> yeah. Okay, now it's your turn to play the game. One, two, three, four, five! <laughs> that ball belongs to my Chloe. Oh, dear! <laughs> oh, I'm okay, but the little dragon got away. We wish we knew why she come and spoils our game all the time. Have you asked her? We would like to, but she always flies away too quickly. We need to catch her before we can ask her, and it's impossible to catch a little dragon. One, two, three, four, five. Very good, Mac. But right now, we need to find a way to catch a dragon. Dragon comes. What do you mean, Mac? After five, dragon comes. I get it. Little dragon always comes to take the ball after we hit it five times. Right, Mac? Right. After five, dragon comes. Lil and I will hit the ball back and forth four times. Then I'll hit number
number five towards the bamboo cage. And when Little Dragon goes to grab it, we'll catch her. Great! I hope it works. One, two, three, four, five. Whoa! Got it! Yay! You got me! I like this game. Let's play again. This is not a game. It's not? Wu and you wanted to catch you so they could ask why you keep taking their ping-pong balls. Isn't that how you play the game? No! I'm sorry. I guess I was just having so much fun. I thought everyone else was having fun too. Sometimes when you play with friends, you can play your way. But sometimes your friends like to play by the rules of a game. But I don't know the rules. We can teach you. Watch and learn, little dragon. Hit the ball, go back and forth. Take your turn, watch and live. See you miss a point you earn. That's how you play the game. Yay! That looks like a lot more fun than the way I was playing it. Can I try? When you want to play a game, you have to know the rules and so. Ask your friends to teach you how to play their favourite game. This is a fantastic game. Thank you all for teaching me how to play it. Next time when I see a game that looks like fun, I must be done. Before I steal the ball and run, I'll learn to play the game. I'm really sorry, guys. I promise I won't ever come back and spoil your game again. GG, little dragon. Thank you. Now that you know how to play, will you come back and play with us the right way sometime? Yay! I mean, yes, I would love to. Yay! Yay! One, two... Oopsie! Mother, may I? Yes, you may, Mac. One, two... How to play the game. Hooray! I love playing games. Daddy! We went to China and saw the Great Wall, and we helped two pandas catch a little dragon who was spoiling their ping pong chill game. Pandas are one of my favorite animals. Want to head over to the zoo and meet some more of them? Hooray! Pandas are one of my favorite animals, too, Lovely Carrot. But my most favourite of all will always be you. <laughs> <laughs>